Hey guys, this is Shutter Effect, and in today's tutorial, I will show you how to export your DAS 3D Studio uh, character into 3ds Max and uh, fixing with the perfect animation uh, with the materials um, for uh, creating much more visual effect styles or whatever your project is. Because in 3ds Max, you have so many opportunities. It's uh, you can create uh, liquids, water, uh, different environments, and uh, adding the perfect style. So uh, you can import uh, from uh, Mixamo Studio, from Mixamo website. You can import your animation in DAS, create your character, and then export it in 3ds Max. And of course, you can add hair. You can simulate different. Uh, type of of effects that actually in DAS Studio for me DAS Studio it's an exchanger so you create your model in DAS Studio you can even create your animation but it's not for actually for rendering only if you render a one frame because if you want to render and to make an entire environment set up like a city or anything else it will crash and the rendering time it will be just crazy so for that reason it's better to use a V-Ray it's the best plugin for uh, rendering at this moment or you can choose Corona whatever rendering plugin software it's uh, it's uh, working for you so in this one I just export from Mixamo the Thriller dancing and um, I just import it in uh, Task Studio and then I export the character so the characters they just dance and move like uh, the trailer so that's it with the intro uh, let me stop this and let's just begin so i will open that as you can see i already bring a character with the animation so because i want to show you exactly i add all the elements that you can add in that studio but of course your model will be different your uh, elements it will be different so I, I just attach the bracelets a tattoo and the glass so you can see exactly how it will work I just uh, bring a hat a different accessories okay the pants and my fingers and of course I bring the animation from Mixamo so if I play this let me play it it's a uh, I just uh, a little bit uh, fix the animation so you fix your animation in that studio to be sure that your animation is perfect actually from DAS and then you're you tweaking a bit in uh, 3ds Max but as I can see here, I don't have any any smile. So from frame ten, let me bring a smile. I think it's a lot more uh, realistic. So let's bring the smile. Let me zoom a bit. I don't know what's happening because when I'm recording, I can see my computer it's doing this kind of not really real time I don't know why anyway I bring a smile and then we have the smile until she come back now here we close a little bit the smile make it back not kind of sad but no reason to smile at this stage okay so let's play again she's smiling it means she's pretty happy okay everything looks good okay now let's go back to frame one let's select all doesn't matter if you use all the characters but I prefer to select all now we go to the export so we choose here let's make it uh, task to 
3D Max. Okay, now this is the most important part. Okay, you can choose any binary up to 2012. So I just stick with uh, this one. But this is very important, okay? Merge followers into targets. So it's mean the animation, it will bring the accessories in the same movement. Okay, if you don't choose this one, the accessories and everything it will be in 3D mass but with no keyframes so be sure that you choose merge force into target this is for static FBX now you choose just add to update animation fill timeline bake animation layers it's better to have animation on each layer skin morph Anyway, nothing, nothing fancy. User define. I use my own define. So because I choose, I don't use any smoothing groups or so geometry. Just our. Let me open everything to be sure that you save the same settings. We don't have any audio, so now you press OK. I have to be much faster than saving. Hope so. okay now you have it let's make a test it's moving now we press on the things that it's coming inside the bones so the bracelet it's inside the bones so I have to open each one until I find the bracelet so we turn it off now we go to the second one and we do same what else we have the knuckles and we do the same we have the glasses head eye and we do the same we have the hat and then we go on the other hand and choose okay and the second one lower one actually okay now we select everything and we hide now we s begin with the one that we picked up. So the we have the hat, the glasses, the necklace, and now we will have the second hand. Okay, now we can close this, but don't delete it, you just close it. And now we open the rest, okay? The one that they bake with their own animation. So you have everything. So you can see the eyelashes and everything doesn't look okay because we need to convert this for a V-Ray. So to convert it to V-Ray, you just simply install the DAS to 3ds Max bridge but when you open usually they said you just auto import the scene save the scene and all this but it will not work with animation it's only for a static 3d model so for this typical you just convert the scenes so now you can see the eyelashes you see here the it will start change actually it will change everything now it's converted so you can close this you can save it if you want but i will not save it so let's make a test it's working fine perfect 
Now before let me bring just a simple light, it's not about the lighting, but lighting in uh, V-Ray it's actually very important. So I just use a normal light, I will choose Doom, I will bring a map, a HDRI map. Okay, where is my V-Ray? V-Ray, V-Ray, bitmap. HDRI, let me choose an HDRI. Okay, office. Okay, let me choose the scan room. Okay, we'll choose this one. Doesn't matter. Now, let's bring a V ray buffer frame. Actually, the PC is working very bad while recording in the same time so you have the all the elements converted for VRI map doesn't look realistic to be honest but first thing that you have to repair it's the skin as you can see here you can see here it's look like a mesh it's look like somebody did a bad job to this model so the easy way to fix this you just go to modify list and pick turbo smooth and voila everything is perfect now let's keep keep this a bit like that let's start with the head for repairing the head the skin and everything so just press on materials editor okay let me bring the Jesus Christ what's wrong with my computer that Let's bring the environment, the HDRI map. I uh, will use a spherical. Okay, and let's move. doesn't look bad okay we keep this to see all the time what we need to do okay let's start with the uh, glasses we just press on glasses to check which one are these ones instance you choose not copy you choose instance so you have the lens okay so for the lens you just use costume and choose glass Voila. You fix the lens. Okay, you have. I think this girl she have a. The glass dioptry is too big. It's okay. Let's choose a uh, not the first end. Okay. You just use the glass.
Okay, we'll work on the reflection of the glass on the other side later on. Now let's fix the other parts. If they look strange, let's go to the head. See, you, you have all the materials, but uh, they don't look like realistic as I was expected. Even the conversion was pretty good. So let's choose the hat instance the same so I will show you how to make it from as you are a beginner like literally a beginner so you move from the first one up and they connect them so you see the first one it's actually the head material yeah so when you deconnect, look on the, it's become black. So in this one, we just bring a little bit of reflection, just a little bit, as you can see here, just a light to, and the closeness 0 0.8, and we bring 0 0.0, 0 0.09, the coat. So get a tiny reflection even on the top so let's make the 0 0.7 it's much better now we choose the second one okay the second one is this one blue so we do the same just a little bit of reflection and 0 0.8 Eight, 0 0.8 let's make it 7 so you have just a little bit of reflection now starts looking much better now we go down so to not lose the connections you just choose okay now even they look real nice rusty I want to make it like kind of modern so I will choose gold actually no I will just choose only gold so I decorate the diffuse map and I leave all the gold now we go to the fourth okay so the fourth is the middle blue inside that kind of logo okay for that reason we just go down we choose the lace a little bit of reflection you have a little bit of reflection here but it's too much so and make it 0 0.8, 0 0.7 actually perfect okay now the the call now this one we do the same we just make it more 0 0.9 reflection code 0 0.1 so it's looking more and we go down this one we disconnect the diffuse and we just make the gold okay you can bring any material that you want but i'm showing you with the one that actually you don't have to make them we go to number seven jesus christ the computer recording it so slow at the same time okay now i will make with this with the same gold okay i think it does it will look nice 
yeah. and number eight. Okay, let's turn a little bit more. Check which one is number eight. Okay, it's that one. So we disconnect the diffuse and we make a gold, but of course, or silver. Okay, doesn't matter. It's just whatever material you want to make. So I'll choose again gold. Perfect. Now almost we finish and we turn back the character. Now the head is looking very nice. Now let's go to the body. We open again the material editor. Now we know which one is the body. It's this one. Now this is the clothes part of the clothes okay is this one instance now let's start with the okay okay with the torso Let's decrease the reflection to zero six, so you can see from neck to down the reflection. It's lower. Let's go back to the face. Zero point six. Now you can see the reflection. It's down now on the lid okay first let's increase the bump material to number two so you can see the lips are looking much more let's make it 1.5 actually 1.5 oh. We bring the glossiness, the reflection, a bit larger, and we make the coat 0 0.1. Okay, and we have the ear teeth, we don't use ears. We do the same, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, perfect. Now we go back, legs, 0 0.6. And of course we have the hands, the eye socket is fine, the mount is fine. The arms, 0 0.6. And I think we cover everything from the skin. The pupils are fine. Fingernails are fine. Cornea is fine. Okay. Now everything is fine. Starting looking much realistic. But now let's bring the snake knuckles. So. This one, I want to make it something 
to very nice lighting so I will choose the modifier tool in editable poly so I will select one eye and then press control select the second one okay do not deattach or delete or anything otherwise you delete the keyframes and it will not work anymore so now we just bring the material editor we go somewhere that you have space here it's fine we just bring the materials we choose the V-Ray materials but because I didn't open today the V-Ray materials they have to load now in the system so I have to wait for loading the VR elements the V-Ray elements sorry not VR anyway my English is not my first language as you can already heard not even my second but anyway so I will choose the V-Ray light okay here I will make just a little bit settings turn on this shit emit light from backside let's make it 40 let's make it strong and let's change the color in orange purple whatever color okay I'll just choose this one at the moment so we connect the eye now we close the modifier so you have you have the lighting snake okay let me bring this back okay now you have a little bit but anyway it doesn't look nice so we will change the materials on this one too so let's select the whatever snake is is this one we bring it instance so you have this with this okay so in this one actually let me choose a self illumination and we bring uh, what I have here HDRI which one let's choose something from space plus HDRI Nebula let me okay Nebula okay with the blue one doesn't look bad okay we just open you see it already changed a bit so okay so for this one I will use a silver to have it nice Okay, and I will increase actually the the self illumination. So make it five. So you have even inside a little bit of self illumination. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time on this one. This is not. Okay, start looking much better. There we go. The skin, the tattoo, look nice. The hand. Now let's fix the pants, make them more realistic. We go somewhere that we have space here. And we bring the pants 
instant and we start with the same strategy yeah? if we are a beginner we just remove this to check where is this so the same make it a little bit reflection put the reflection 0 0.9 0 point let's say 8 okay next one this one is the belt so we choose another self illumination so you can see the belt is lighting much stronger and we stay like that let's move on other okay this one we choose again the self illumination and we stick with that don't make any settings now this is the actually the pants so we make it a little bit reflective now you can see the reflection it's even pretty big so we make the closeness 0 0.7 so we just capture only the light not even the reflection of anything okay press ok close it at the moment now start looking better but let's make this one nicer so for this one we just choose the one that we want to change and a model actually I will use the V-Ray so I will choose the metal because here usually I make my own materials but for this tutorial I just show you for this one I will choose the gold okay doesn't look bad we go up we close the modifier press on this modifier select and we do the same okay look nice and like I said you can bring any accessories from that studio we do the same and of course you can change the texture and everything on each one so we do the okay perfect now go down to the last one and we do the same perfect they start looking nicer now mm -hmm. let's make uh, a new lighting I want to make something different so let's make a new lighting whatever materials V-Ray light choose white make it 20 lighting on I meet from back side so we go back here we choose these points that you can make that any you can so be careful to not select something else like the hand or okay let's move rotate 
okay now they are all selected now let me bring the light and voila the lighting The lighting as usually you have to do the same for each one but so you see when you move let's let's make it a zoom a bit so when the model is moving the reflection inside the silver it's moving along uh, so especially if it's let's play it let's close this let's play so you see all the reflection inside it's moving in the same time so it gives you a different nice look but jesus christ that's really slow the computer because of the recording actually my computer it's so fast Okay, now let's check. Okay, another thing that you can do. I just turned the. Let me make the head like this. Okay. So, another thing that you can do in the real time, like an animation, you just set pick this one. You choose this and you choose this one. So you make the auto keyframe and you move along a bit. What's happening? Jesus Christ. Okay, can I cannot see the. Where the fuck goes? How I close this? I cannot use the. Oh, okay. Just fucking. Anyway. So you have the keyframe and rotate or oh, disappear. So let's make it along like this. And you just rotate. Okay. And you create an animation. Okay, so now we go a little bit farther. We turn here and we rotate again. We rotate, uh, but be careful to keep the same. okay only just an idea so now you see it's rotating in the same time they're rotating in the same time that she's working so it's give you a different animation strategy or creativity or whatever you name it so i will open again the buffer can add a reflection of course on the frame of the glasses but let's check actually without the glasses so height selection now you can see actually the beautiful eyes how they look if you have the perfect reflection if you want to change something you can change the lacrima or whatever it's called you can change under the eye it's your choice 
but let's keep it without the glasses at the moment okay let me open this one and different I want to choose the glasses this is the glasses actually the frame not the glasses no not the glasses the the clothes, sorry. So I choose the clothes. Let me bring a little bit the reflection. Okay, let me bring more a bit. Okay. Base top. realistic perfect okay now let's change the environment a bit so we just choose the doom light dome light sorry something mm, HDRI, HDRI, something darker, sunset, okay, let's choose the sunset, V-ray buffer, you see, the lights, the lights on, so if I will turn off, you can see exactly which one it's lighting mm, nicer but it's better turn on so if you want you can create a camera so you just go to v-ray camera now when you create a camera because the settings of the camera it's very darkness you can see only the strong lights emitted because it's normal like in any camera settings so the first important thing in camera I, uh, I was shooting a lot of time with real camera because before I was uh, I was director and then uh, first cinematographer and then director so I know everything about each camera so the best settings for a camera it's the shutter speed the one that gives you that blur and nice and it's very important so the shutter speed usually for this particular shots as you can see the sun the sky it's sunset you i will use 60. i will use for the f number it's becoming to the light and of course 200 iso so now you have it nicer So let's make a camera animation. Okay, auto key. We move a bit like this, and then we move the camera like this. We move further, and then we go 
day here and starting from here we just bring a little bit zoom we make the settings up and just a small rotation of the cover and in the end we let the sun so okay this is animation now if you want a depth of field look you just enable depth of field and motion blur so when i will go closer you can see it's actually looking very nice at uh, this point so now let's check only let's check we used only these settings no other visuals no other things of course you can create whatever you want behind and like okay let me give you a fast example but first let's check with these settings we use the full hd let's check how long it will take to render one frame it's rendering a little bit slower because of the recording time so as I can see this recording program it's doing something on my computer usually this was even the rendering I render before in seven seconds any anything that you see in the intro at the beginning was one frame in seven seconds now I think let's render again to check the time 46 seconds Jesus Christ it's a lot it's a lot but it's because of the recording I will choose a different screen maybe so okay if I render this one something is wrong with the uh, with the record recording program because it's really very slow usually like like I said it's seven seconds each frame Jesus Christ anyway I'll stop this because you have the idea how it's looking and let's keep the same shot so we know settings of the camera I think let's choose which one looks better so let's create almost the same let me close the sunglass anyway we'll live with the sunglass so we just render this see the the glasses are so wrong 
made it in uh, the studio if under reflection he get the environment inside the eye so let me bring back the glasses and render with the glasses here so which one is the close this close this bracelet nakers eyeglasses okay now let me render one with the sunglass Stop this and make it facing like this. Okay, and we do the same shot here. Render this one. Jesus Christ, the glasses are horrible in the studio. Like the lens. Okay, the skin, the face is there, but even like that, even the hat is look very fake. It's like cartoon hat. So this is the rendering and uh, now let's render in three days max. Okay, we have a different environment and but anyway you can check the quality of everything. slow because of the recording okay now it's okay let me close the depth of field because we have the depth of field open so motion and blur now render again different environment and much lighter but uh, and you see even the letter of the head and of course you have these animations anyway it's uh, it's much better I think so This is for today. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to add hair and have a hair simulation and cloth simulation from Odaz. Because if you bring hair, it's look the model is look totally different. Like literally, it will look much different.